Good morning, good afternoon, good day, everyone, wherever you are watching this on a sun, uh, fine Sunday morning. So, Galactic Legend Ray. As you know, if you've seen my uh, State of My Account videos, I'm going for my Ray right now. And today, this morning, I just finished tiers 1 and 2 of the event. Uh, so, finished the 8 uh, times in tier one and then the four times in tier two. So I'm moving on to the infamous rock, paper, scissors, uh, component, uh, to finally unlock her. Got all the gear, got all the mods, got every, the, all the relic material ready for her to go right from zero to R7 on unlock. But it's going to take me about a little over a week probably to finally get her. But I figured I would make a video on how to very easily complete tier one and tier two of this event. So the team that can easily do it, oh, look at that. That's an ugly avatar for Ray. Anyway, the team to beat it is Ray, which is your JTR, BB-8, R2-D2, C-3PO, and Hero Finn. Oddly enough, the only people that you actually had to even gear for this, uh, for her, to unlock her is JTR and Resistance Hero Finn. So uh, it's too bad you can't really use the other um, Resistance very effectively to beat these two tiers, but this is what you probably want. And if you have um, all the other Resistance relic up, I'm assuming that you're going to have R2 relic. Um, everyone should have R2 relic. He's a great relic. But anyways, let's get into this, and then we'll, well, maybe I'll just show you my mods now. So my JTR is modded uh, tanky, actually. So she's got protection, 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 speed, and she is 74,000 health, 90,000 protection. Not a whole lot of offense. BB-8's all about the speed. I don't have any 6E mods on him. Uh, you know, protection, tenacity, defense, just speed, whatever ha I had for with decent speed secondaries. Uh, BB-8 doesn't have my mess best mods by far, and he is a whopping uh, only 299 speed. My R2 is built, I do believe, for health and offense, because he shed or uh, spreads or shares his stats with his allies. So health, offense, uh, crit chance, and speed the crit chance more so because you want him critting under a jtr to proc exposes right exposes means turn meter so he's got decent mods 284 speed so you know decent speed not god tier by any means and then again with uh, c3po is just for speed mine's not overly fast 268 he's relic level i do believe what one uh, health, protection, protection, you know, give him some survivability. Especially for light side TB, you want survivability. And then my hero Poe isn't super, super fast, but definitely quick. He's over 300, 307. Uh, and then he is modded for, looks like I gave him a speed set and tenacity set. I think these tenacity sets are just because of the speed secondaries with, uh, I wanted an offense uh, triangle or, uh, yeah. So offense, offense, protection, speed. So that's what he's got. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. This is tier one. Uh, in tier one, you just want to avoid AOEs. Otherwise, you'll get lit up quick. Right? So first move, do the wiggle, right? And then really, you can put this on whoever. You can waste it on one of these guys and then you can mind trick Hux here and now you want to smoke screen leave Ray up because she's she can take the hit especially if you mod her tanky now let's point let's call in or let's uh let's let's pass the turn meter over to R2 now we're gonna burn and we're gonna proc all those exposes because Finn's going to come in here with his uh, bomb next. So they're going to hit Ray. Oh, they, she didn't, they didn't hit. Now, so I, I targeted the officer there to uh, to proc the expose that was on him. 
because uh, I wanted to get my hero, hero Finn going next so that he could do this AoE and then get us even more turn meter. BB-8's going to reduce. Now, who's got... Let's get rid of... He's got an expose on him. Let's call in. Who else can we use? I think you, you will have a translation. Let's call in Finn since... Uh, there we go. Now he's got three stacks of translation. We'll just finish off... Hux, uh, Ray, as you see, she has her taunt up, and she was avoiding some hits due to her uh, constant use of um, foresight after she does abilities. So we're going to begin the train all over again. Smoke, or, uh, smoke screen. Leave Ray out in the open. As you see, she's got foresight up again. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, we're going to target some of these other people with more turn meter. Give it back to R2. Get that burning going, which is going to proc those exposes. Let's pull back some turn meter over here. And now we're going to do this, and we're going to proc all those exposes again. And, oh, look, at they actually got a shot off on her, but they didn't actually hit her. Okay. Let's proc some more exposes. They're going to hit her. As you can see, she took one hit, but really, everyone is topped off. Let's call everyone in. We're gonna ability block you. And we'll just keep the train rolling. Probably don't have to, but... There we go. Look at that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's how you do it. No god mods needed. Very, very easy. Uh, Hero, Finn, and R2 do all the good work there. And now tier 2 is the exact same team that we just used in tier one and you're going to pretty much follow an exact the exact same strategy you know the taunts you know okay it's going to be a little bit i'm going to take so you're going to take some more hits and we'll see if we can get the translation over there we didn't but that's okay smoke screen again on ray back to r2 Let's see if we can't get a whole bunch of exposes on the field. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of exposes. That's so good. All right. Now, let's... Part of me wants to hit Hux, but I don't want the mass assist. So, we'll just push back some turn meter. Yeah, first order tie pilot got to go. Didn't hit her because of foresight. Now, we'll proc some of these exposes. And then bb is going to wiggle. It's going to turn back some turn meter. AOE, proc all those exposes, and now I'll look at my team, it's all full turn meter, so then we get it going all over again. Uh, who do we want to pick on? Okay, you got an expose over there, so let's pick on him. Give us some more turn meter. Bye-bye, Executioner. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Call in R2 again. Let's get that burning rolling again. Proc some exposes, make some more. Here comes the grenade. Ba boom and now it's Ray's turn. Oh, no, it's not Ray's turn. Oh, what is that? That's Illuminated Destiny. That's a free turn. This team is just steam rolling. And who do we want to do? If we're going to stick with the game plan, we're going to pass over to R2, who's going to burn some more. He's under smoke screen, so nobody's going to hit him back. It's all over, folks. Ba boom, ba boom. Let's go get that dagger. Victory. So there you have it. Tiers 1 and 2. With barely even taking a scratch. So I hope this helped you guys in your journey to get to Galactic Legend Ray. I can not wait until I unlock mine. And then put it to good use. So please like this video. Please comment if you have any questions. Please subscribe if you are not a subscriber. I appreciate every one of you. And I'll catch you in the next video. Uh, I have to do another state of my account roster review of myself. Probably do that tomorrow. And that video will be out tomorrow. But as well as my GAC video. So until the next one guys. Cheers. See you later.